Here's another example. So we're going to work out the area and the perimeter of the shape. So as I said in the previous lesson, I would highly suggest that you pause the video. You can do it, guys. Try it. Um, if you're a bit nervous to try it by yourself, that's perfectly fine. You will make mistakes. But I promise you, the more that you practice it by yourself before watching me do it, you will get a little bit better each question, and eventually you will become a lot better. Okay? I did the same thing in grade 9. I was terrible at maths. Um, and... I did that same approach. I would try the question myself first, but not only once. I would try it multiple times. I knew that I was getting better, and then I would watch the video, or I would look at the memo, or whatever, and that is how I got much better at maths. So I'm going to start with the perimeter first. Now they haven't really given us any letters or things like that, so we don't have to worry too much about the reasons for this one. But what you should realize straight away is that this shape here is a rectangle. Can you see that? It's got 90 degrees in all four corners and the lengths, only the opposite lengths are the same. So for example, these two aren't the same. So that's a rectangle. Now because it's a rectangle, we know that the opposite sides are the same. So this two will be the same as this length over here. And so that's also going to be two centimeters. But now they've show, they're have they showing us these two little lines over here. Now those two lines tell us that all three of these sides, so this one, this one, and this one, they are all the same. And so that allows us to now say that this will be two centimeters and this one will be two centimeters. So we nearly have enough information to work out the perimeter. There are a couple of sides that we don't have on the outside. For example, this side over here. What do you think we should do here, guys? Well, well done to you if you realize that we've got a triangle over here, and that would be a 90 degree triangle, because if this one's 90, then this one has to be 90 because of angles on a straight line. And so we can use our good old friend Pythagoras to find this length over here. And so I'm just going to call that x, for example. In a test, they would probably make it a bit more clear to you what that would be called. So we know that that one the x is opposite the 90 degrees, so it's the longest one. So we can say x squared is equal to 2 squared plus 6 squared. And I'll just say Pythagoras over here. Just get into the habit of doing that anyways. And so x squared is going to end up being 40. And so then, of course, we'll take the square root of 40. Probably won't give us a very nice number. No, it doesn't. It'll be 6.32. If you did that on your calculator, you might have gotten 2 square root 10. Only leave it like this if the question says, leave your answer in third form. If they say third form, then you can leave it like that. Third means uh, having a root. Okay. But if they don't, just use two decimal places. And so that's going to be 6.32 centimeters. Alrighty, now, and guys, always check your answer. I mean, in this blue triangle, we know that the side that we've just worked out must be the longest, and so it makes sense that it's 6.32, because this one is 6, and this one is 2, so that one must be slightly longer. Okay, do we have everything we need? Well, if I look over here. We don't know what this length is, but of course that that's, that's going to be the same as this one over here. And so that's also going to be two centimeters. So I can say here two centimeters. And then we also don't know what this one's length is. So what you do here, guys, is you do the following. So we know that this length from here all the way to here would be how much? Well, six centimeters, right? It's the same as this one. Now from here up to, or let me do this in a different color. Let me use red. From here to here, that's already 30 millimeters. Oh, by the way, we need to change that into centimeters by dividing by 10. And so that's going to be three centimeters. So we know this part's three centimeters. How far would it be from here to here? Well, that would be the same as this length, right? You can see that these are the same. And so that's one centimeter. So, so far, this blue line is already four centimeters. But it's supposed to be six. And that means that this part from here up to here, that would have to be two centimeters. 
Now we have everything on the outside and so we can work out the perimeter. Remember the perimeter is everything on the outside. It doesn't include anything on the inside. So you're not going to count this 6 for example. Okay. So I'm going to start on the outside and I'm just going to move around the shapes. I'm going to start with this one, 6.32 plus this one over here, which is a 2. I tick them just to make sure I know which ones I've done. Remember, this one here is actually 3 centimeters. Please don't say 30, guys. And then we've got this length over here, which is a 2. And then we've got this one down here, which is a 1. See what I'm doing? I'm walking around the whole shape. And then there's this one, which is a 2. And then this one, which is a 2. And this one, which is a 2. And the next one, which is a 2. And so we would add all of those together. Sorry, I don't have it all on one line. I've run out of space. And if you do that correctly, you should get 22.32 centimeters. So that's your perimeter. Now, guys, area. So we know that the area is the stuff on the inside. So it's everything, right? So it's all of this. It's all of this over here. And it's this over here. That is what area is. The problem is, I don't know about you, but I don't know what shape we're busy with here. Uh, is this like a triangle, rectangle, rectangle, all in one? Like, what would you even call that? We don't know what this is, guys. And guess what? There isn't actually a shape that we don't call this a specific shape. What we do instead is we do something quite clever. We break the shape up into various parts. So, for example, I'm going to start off with this triangle and I'm going to work out the area of that one by itself and so you need to remember your formulas so for the triangle so I'm just gonna say um, well let me first say area of triangle we know that that's half base times height you need to know that automatically straight away and you need to remember that the base and the height must always be 90 degrees with each other so this is quite a nice easy triangle the reason is is that we've got the two and the six that are already 90 degrees with each other. So we will use that as our base and our height. And so that's going to be a half times six times two. And if you do that correctly, that would be six centimeters squared. So this part is now complete. And you can do this in any order. It's your decision. I'm now going to do the rectangle. And we know that a rectangle is this length multiplied by this length. And so let me just write that over here. Area of the big rectangle is going to be 2 multiplied by 6, and that's going to be 12 centimeters squared. Then lastly, we need to do this little guy down here. And so that's the area of the small triangle. I mean, triangle, rectangle, Kevin, rectangle. And that's going to be, for example, this length multiplied by this length. So that's going to be 2 multiplied by 1. Notice I always use the two lengths that are making 90 degrees with each other. So, I, Okay, so that's very important. We do that for triangles, rectangles, not, not sorry, rewind. We do that for rectangles, parallelograms, rhombuses, and squares. All the four-sided shapes um, besides trapeziums, okay? And so that's going to give us why am I writing in a different color? That's going to give us 2 centimeters squared. So what we now do is we've gone and we've worked out the area of each part separately. Now we just add all the answers together. So I'm going to say something like total area equals. And then I'm going to add all the answers together. So 6 plus 12 plus 2. And that's going to give you 20 centimeters squared. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much.